Okay. It's time for you. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. So first of all, might as well commentate what the hell is going on. So first of all, we're going to see this sword called the Fight Sword. Um, now I need to figure out how to pull up the menu. Speed text fast. We're gonna get our first armor and a bunch of money. And this is already the first difference from actual Revelation Demon Slayer because this isn't actual Revelation Demon Slayer. This is the, the version prior to that. Revelation Demon Slayer is a localization of. Um, Megami Tensei Lost Bible Game Boy Color version, and this is the original version. So, in Revelation Demon Slayer, in that one chest, you get 300 yen. So, you can just sell the armor that you just got and get a better armor and proceed with the game right away. But in this version, you only get 100, so we need to go grind for money. So, immediately, this version is already slower. But oh well. So now a earthquake has happened, and we are requested to go save some children, and it's here, right in front of the city, where we're gonna grind. So first of all, we're gonna equip some... a lot of ice, and equip um, our armor, and we're gonna just auto through these battles. We need to get 200 and... I have it here, 245 money, so we need to keep count, and I'm very bad at keeping count. So we have uh, around 60 now, that's good, dropped. I didn't, didn't lose time, I'm sorry, I forgot to name the character. Okay, so we've leveled up, for the beginning of the run we're going to put all our points into speed because we want to be able to escape from encounters. Uh, I bought some healing items because grinding is pretty dangerous. Fucking reset, oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, so I kind of lost track, but I think we're at 100 yen that we already got, so we need to 145 more. So, yeah. Yoshi, thank you for the good luck. So, yeah, this is just grinding. Um, we need to make sure not to die. We just reached level 3, so it means that we learned Agira, which is our first spell. In this game, the protagonist actually knows magic. Um, we keep healing, we need to avoid dying because he wants to talk to us, we're just gonna ignore it because we don't need this guy. Uh, we need to avoid dying because even though it's not a uh, game over if we die, like in other Megami Tensei games, this one's a bit nicer, uh, we lose half our money and we're trying to get money so that's just not ideal. So we're gonna keep grinding, we technically already have the amount of level that we need but money not so much and I kind of lost count so I'm going to just fight another and then check how much money I have so in this version compared to Revolution Demon Slayer um, there's a lot more grinding because this version is actually harder we're good on money um, in th this is the original version and the boss battles were a lot harder uh, they dropped much less money and much less EXP, so there's just more grinding. So now we're going to unequip the armor and we're going to sell it. And now we have enough money to actually buy good armor. You don't have to equip it. Uh, I was equipping the wrong thing. No equipping nuts. Western releases of other games being easier? Never. Yeah, no, it's exactly that. They just made the games easier. But I think um, the remaster, so the Game Boy Color version, Lost Bible Game Call, uh, Game Boy Color, was also easier. So I don't know why they remastered it and made it easier. This game isn't even hard. So it's a bit just random, I guess. So these guys can't hit us because of our armor down. So we can just auto and try to level up to level 4. And very soon we'll 
do our first first recruitment. We're not being able to escape from this one. Okay. We could safe like for safety go into that one town. This is a very weird encounter at this part of the game. Okay, so we have our first recruitment. It's this guy. This is Tanki. He's a Type 4, and Type 4, he said, uh, Type 4, it, it's no. no. I said the wrong thing. Good one. So now I'll die. Because I accidentally said the wrong, wrong thing. Yeah. That was on me. Okay, so I'll explain how demon recruitments work in this game. Might as well. It doesn't really matter that I die there, just a bit of a time loss because we don't need the money anymore. So recruitment in this game are decision tree based. Also, I've already left Molly so I can split. Um, decision tree based basically means that depending if you know the type of the demon, and each demon has one fixed type, uh, and the beginning, like the first dialogue line that they say to you, you actually know exactly what to say in order to recruitment, and it's completely fail-proof, and it works across remasters. So it will be the same for Revelations Demon Slayer, or for the Game Boy Color version, let's just call it that. So I don't actually need this guy. So compared to actually Megami Tensei, it's a lot easier to recruit demons here, and it's actually safer most of the time to recruit them if you know you can't defeat them. Uh, so, yes, no... Yes, yes. There you go. Here's our first one. Yeah, please use the Mega Man when this game doesn't use that. Yeah, but I just wanted to be consistent across games. I don't actually know the font for this game. This is a Cobalt. We'll get a Cobalt too. He's type 1. It says the first one, so yes. Yes. I have the guide for recruitment in case you haven't noticed already. Okay, so this is our second recruitment. We still need another one in order to do the next boss fight a lot easier. We got a Harpy, just to get revenge on Harpy's type 4 on... Yes. On vanilla Shimigami Tensei, where you always get bodied by Harpies. In this one, you just recruit one. And now, here's the fun part of this game. I might have to do this whole thing again if I get an encounter. <laughs> Oh, actually we got lucky because I can talk to this one. Okay, and now we're going to pick up one item called uh, a water, a special water, a special water from the lake. Special water from the lake is very useful because it opens up a town where we get a, a doctor and the doctor will heal up our partner and then we get another party member. I'm kind of skipping over the story. But in that one town that we passed over, Etenomiz, yeah, that's exactly it. Uh, that one town that we passed next to, there's our partner that is pretty strong that we need to go get in order to perceive this story. But in order to enter the town that has the doctor that will heal up our partner, we need to go get the, this one special magical water. So this town has been accosted by demons, pretty much. There's another very good thing about this game, because it's a Game Boy game, that we can do compared to an SFC game. First of all, I need to summon my demons. I will reorder this, because reordering is kind of important in this game. I can safety save! And there you go! And now we do the fight. So we'll just basically use spells on him. This guy doesn't have spells as well, so he's kind of useless. And Harpy doesn't either. So we're actually a bit underprepared. They have like healing spells, but not actual hurting spells. Uh, I guess I'll just heal up or guy in advance. And there you go. So level up to level 5. This is another difference compared to the Game Boy Color version. In this fight, you always level up, regardless of how leveled up you were previously, you always get to level 7. And in order to proceed to a later part of this game, after getting the partner, you need to be level 9. 
because you need to recruit some guys for the next boss fight. Um, so compare, so going to level nine from level five compared to level seven, um, it really, it really makes a difference. So there's pretty much just a lot more grinding in this version, and that's good because we just left our town. How funny it wasn't called Bufura instead Bufura. Yeah, that's true. There's some weird name differences in this game. Like there's Agira instead of Agirao, even if it's the same spell. And you don't even, I don't, you don't even have Agi. You don't start with Agi. So now we're going to get our partner. Our boy. We're going to equip items on him before I forget. This part is emblem. Yeah, your overworld sprite changes depending on whether, uh, on which character is first in the party. Uh, and now we need to go up to the shop and get free sylph wings, which are items that, pre items that pretty much just, they're ca kind of like escape ropes in Pokemon. We're going to buy them. We have enough money, thankfully. By one, two, three. That's about enough. At level 19, and we're going to have to run to level 20, and that's going to take a while. Now, level, level 19, the hero, the protagonist, learns a spell that's equivalent to Trapport or Teleport in Shimagami Tensei. So, uh, we only need about three until we get that one item. So, now we need to head into this temple. Ignore these guys and talk to the. Oops. Talk to this guy, which will let us in to the mountain where basically the, the story continues. Also, the movement in this game is kind of slippery, so sometimes you'll see me just squirting around and missing the exits because it's just kind of hard to control. And it's much harder to control in a, in a fucking Super Famicom control compared to a Super Game Boy. Not Super Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Advance. Super Game Boy, this one. So now we need to grind to level 9. And in order to do that, we'll just stick around here and wait for encounters. In auto, pretty much. And hopefully not die. If we die, we need to go back into the city, that one city called Remlia. Go into the inn, heal up our party, and then come back, which is a bit annoying. This is another pretty strong demon that we actually didn't happen to get, unfortunately, because he makes the fights pretty, pretty quick, rather. So this is, what, the second grinding section of the game? This one is also present in Revelation Demon Slayer. But it's much shorter, as I said. There's a total of... what? Um, I don't actually want to do magic. There's a total of pretty much four grinding sections in this version of the game, compared to... Two? In Game Boy Color. So this is definitely the slower version. So for now, we're going to just put all our points into speed. We need to go to, as I said, we need to have pretty high level speed in order to... Damn, I did <laughs> Okay, I didn't want that to happen. So basically because the one demon that I used to talk to the other who wants to talk to us, and he wants to talk again, god damn, um, was the same type. So if two demons who are talking to each other are the same type, they'll join immediately. So yeah, I want to put all my points into speed is what I was saying, put all my points into speed because all the magnets and level speed, never. Yeah, I want to be able to escape from later encounters, we don't have to exactly have a broken stone in this game. We actually have to escape from all the encounters. 
but after 28 speed on protagonist, we can escape from any encounter that we come across, even late game. We also want to level up speed on our partner, because we want to outspeed one demon, which will pretty much carry our next grinding section. Extra no. thing I got is useful. It could be useful because imagine there's some situation where it could be useful sometimes after a fight later on, usually just trap or but imagine hero dies and then we don't have to trap or we have to walk all the way back. Or death warp, which would be kind of annoying. Uh, if I have a sylphing, I can just use a sylphing. That works exactly the same as trapper. I see. Yes, it could. It could not be like it could be actually useful because yesterday when I was testing out the run, that happened to me. After one of the last boss fights, the protagonist died, and. I have to walk all the way back, and next town over would be it was kind of far away. So it could be useful. I'm not gonna dismiss it. So I might as well take this time to memorize the next types of the demons I need to get. Oh, that's level nine. Okay, never mind. We'll keep going. Fuck that. Okay, so now we head into a cave called Mont M Mount Powell? Mountain Powell? And here is where some of the children that we needed to go and help in the beginning got kidnapped too. So we talked to this guy who let us get through and now we need to get a bunch of demons in order to fight the next boss fight. Those flies that I keep in count. Oh, this is one of the ones I need to get. Okay. Uh, he's type three. So yes, 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 yes. There you go. Those flies that I keep encountering are pretty annoying. These ones. Uh, and if you don't have level thirteen, which is level nine on hero speed. Uh, you can't escape from them and they just pretty much kill you. So it's one of the biggest reasons why we need to have up to level 9. Other than being able to recruit the demons that we need to recruit for this fight. So hopefully we encounter all of them on the way to the boss fight. That would be cool. Okay, here's another one. He's type 2. Need one more. It's not too important, but it would be pretty useful if I could get it. And I, I'll probably keep safety saving for all the boss fights because if one of the characters dies and they don't, they don't get the boss fight XP, that's kind of annoying, especially at this part of the run where we're going to need, we'll be grinding right after this boss fight. We're coming back here and grinding. Okay, so unfortunately I couldn't get the guy, but I think I'll be okay either way. So these are the ones that I have. I'll just heal up everybody. Use Harpy in order to. Uh... Uh, I think I'm okay. Yeah. Let's just reorder the party. Not this. Okay, let me just do the party and I'll answer you, uh, Rayo. Okay, pretty much this auto here. And we're good. 
to know we're level 10. Oh, I can... You can ask anything you need to know, because we'll be grinding for a while now. <laughs> Especially... First we need to get level 13, and then we need to get to level 20. And this can take, and will likely take, close to one hour. Which is why this run is great. Uh, oh, Mount Paolo. So now we need to go back to Ramlia and talk to another sage who will give us another item. We should be explaining which is after the first question, we already know all the other answers that are like how it works. Yeah, basically, depending on who you talk to the demons with, so there's different dialogue trees, like this, it's basically a decision tree, you know? You have an initial node, which is their first dialogue line, and you have their type. And if you have their type, you know the correct path in order to reach the D. Recruitment solution. Okay. Give this to our partner. How many types are there? There's five types. Oh. So it's really not that many. And I basically... Uh, and again, it, depending on who you talk with, you have different dialogue trees. So if you talk with partner, they'll say different things. If you talk with the other, that we'll get later on. They'll say even more different things. And if you talk with your demons, if they're the same type, it will be an instrument recruit. Most of the time, we won't be recruiting with demons. Because it's just faster to do so with hero where we have the solutions. So now we're pretty much just grind. We'll try to get to level 12 here. After uh, getting to level 12 here, we'll just proceed with the game. And then grind to level 13. And then after grinding to level 13, in a different place, we'll grind to level... <laughs> we'll then grind to, to level um, 20. That's what takes a while. How it all he can land it. Actually, he managed. I'm going to be weaving because our AP, our guy. Good. Okay, we're level 12 with this guy. That's. More important than being level 12 with the protagonist. I'll head into this inn because it's just a faster one. So basically, right now, the most important thing we need to try and do is reach level 13 with partner. Hope you have enough money. Uh, yeah. shouldn't be spending too much too many money because too much money rather because we'll need to spend a lot of it on healing items in a bit so now we, we reach level 12 with the partner so we'll just continue on <laughs> great we got the fucking spider it means nothing Continue on through this cave for uh, to reach the next part of the game. This works basically the same as the houses in Shimigami Tensei 2. Uh, the Deva houses that allow you to reach another part of the game. So we'll stop by this city just so we're able to trapport here later because we have no business here. And we'll stop by this one and basically bookmark the inn. If we do so, if we die, because we'll, we'll be trying to reach level 13, 
Uh, if we die, we just re we just get sent back here. Again, we still need to reach level. I'll just heal up this guy. Yeah, that's not too much money. Oh, nice. We already have an angel. An angel is basically a sign that we've been playing for a while. It's only been 25 minutes. So preferably, we won't die. Because we need the money. Wait. I have a limit. Yes, there is a limit. It's quite, it's quite mm, like the stock. The limit is a lot bigger than compared to other games. Actually, I need one of these guys. I'll just get him right away. I need this guy called a Banshee. I wonder if I can get him already. The answer is no, I can't get him yet. We're still not level 13. Okay, we'll just attack him. We'll Moodle this guy. more than SMT. How many is in SMT4? I don't remember. Is it unlimited? Okay, we'll just try to land our Moodles. And I'll use Agira, but I'm pretty sure it's not very effective. Yeah, it's not very effective. <laughs> Hopefully that lands. Perfect. So this guy is now level 12. Let me make sure to heal up any... I still have this item, so I'll heal up his health. Even if this guy is pretty useless. Uh, there's a lot. We can get we can carry like... I I'm gonna guess 15. Okay, hopefully we can land the Muro. Basically, all grinding will rely on Muro. Yeah, it's a lot. You can see it like your save file. I'm not gonna. Okay. On your save file, it says all, all the demons that you have. Oh, unfortunately, I don't have any more money. But there's a lot. We're going to be releasing them after I reach level 13. Which is basically the sign that uh, uh, I'll start grinding to level 20. This is just pre-grinding in order to reach the real grinding. Who's grinding some money? We do need the money. And you'll understand why soon. Now we leave. Keep grinding around here as close to the city as possible. I don't like this enemy at all. But it will have to do. Because they're, they're like the other ones, the, the fly ones, the tiny ones, are pretty weak to Mudo. Let's go, Mudo. Let's heal up before this guy dies. Cool. Hopefully soon, we're getting plenty of XP. Okay, not these guys, please. The, the, the right one is pretty useful against the early boss fights, because he has Zanma. You just attack this one, you just Muro, you attack that one. That's not too pressing. We're going to be releasing him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, that didn't hit. That sucks. I should have to run away. No XP. I'm going to just check how much we need. Crazy. Oh, what was it? 289. That's like two fights. Two fights. Finds this kind of not worth it. I think I'll still leave again. Basically, if, if it was just like one more fight, I'll do the shopping and then head to the cave where we're going to be doing the real grinding. Because it's two fights. Not so sure. 
That way I can still get more money. Come back. It's a bit slower. But I think I'll take the time off. Again, the most important thing is really not dying. We can't die. If we could get single enemy fights here, would be great. Because you just move them. That would be it. Keep getting that. <laughs> we keep getting this one. Um, there's really not much I can do. I can just attack them like this. Those close to no damage. We move it over the around here. Because dying is dangerous. Okay, one more fight. If you, get, if you can get one more of these, it's almost enough. Okay, these aren't too bad. They won't be too bad, hopefully. Yeah. Alright, this is actually not the one I want to level up to 13. Alright, this should be the last one. And we can go into the town and do all our shopping. Do it again. Ah, that's really annoying. Um, is there any chance I can kill this guy without Nudo? Let's find out. Yeah, there you go. Alright, that's all for team. Perfect. Now we have back here. We have no attachment for the demons. We can't even release them right away. Now all we need to do is equip everything that we have. People will be selling all of our equipment. And we can also sell those monsters. Keep maybe one because I don't have enough money to be buying more of the uh, MP recovery items, anyways. So now we buy these items called Banas. Banas recover MP. We'll be needing to recover a lot of MP because we'll be using Muro for a while to kill those enemies that give a lot of. Stand level uh, they, they give a lot of XP. They give a lot of money, I mean 28,000 money in order to buy two items, uh, two attack items that we'll be using for a very long time in the run. So now we got our things, we just leave, we'll head to the cave. And now we can recruit Banshee, which is one of the, item, one of the demons we, we've been killing. Because now we'll have a 13. It's not these guys. These are pretty irrelevant now. Okay, these are the ones that are on the team. A bunch is type 4. So, no, 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 no. Here's the real grind. I'm going to be safety saving because. Oh boy. Also, before I run out of space, I'm going to be releasing all of these demons. It serves as well, but they're no longer needed. So, this song Low Key of Anger. My first time hearing you wearing a headphones and it's pretty good. Okay, so these are the guys that we're looking for. I forgot to heal up. The boss. Those guys are called Zords. They're controlled by basically the big bad guy in this game called Zodia. 
and when income in hordes of freeze, they drop around 1000 yen and they gave a lot of XP. And it's kind of not worth it to Mudo anybody else other than Zords. They're very weak to Mudo, so we're pretty much guaranteed to land the hit. But we need to be we need to have a level um, we need to have 13 speed on partner in order for him to outspeed the Zords and for us to not die to this part. So now that we're level 13 and we have 13 speed, we can just do this and we'll be doing it for a while. So again, we need to reach level 20 with both partner and hero. Both because it's basically much higher level. It's, it's enough for us to survive most fights. We have Trompa, which is important. We are able to recruit some demons that will be pretty useful. And we won't even level up a lot more throughout the rest of the run. Fortunately, we need to do this. And now how many Zords for the free that we get is basically lot dependent. So how long this takes can very much vary. So after level 13 we just level up vitality on partner and speed on hero. Who needs to have at least I think it's 20? Almost 20 almost it's over 20 speed in order to escape from all the encounters. The rest of the run. Yeah, it's over 20. It's like 28, I think. So now we ran out of mana. And we will run out of we will we will run out of items. And we'll have to go back to the town to get more. That's just a thing that always happens. Actually, we routed this run because there's uh, in the original Revelation Zim and Slayer run, you buy two items called runes, which are basically revival items. But in this game, the original, they cost 10 times more. So you get 29,000 yen in the original version. So you are able to buy both of those items, the, the attack items, the weapons and the runes, but in this one, you have to get 35,000. No, actually, no, you need to get more, you need to get around 45,000, which would be almost 40 more minutes of, of grinding or something, something ridiculous. So we have to go out of our way to get, to get them through other means, pretty much. So why do these items cost 10 times more? I have no idea. It's just a thing, I guess. Again. As soon as we're level 16, we can get one of the recruitments here, and when we reach level 19, we can get another. Sometimes you just gotta make the sacrifice of buying the Hordes of Steel instead of the Hordes of Free. I'm not happy about it, but I'm not getting too lucky. Okay, that's level 60. But I'm not sure what level of partner is at. So I can risk it. I'll have to check next time we level up. Okay, there it is. Level 16. So now we can get an, an enemy called Arkeni. Arkeni. I can just call it Araki. So I can annoy myself. I 
Got two random of items here. So yeah, if there's any questions, this is a section because I don't need to do any reading. I don't need to focus on anything else. I'm basically just walking back and forth anywhere. This is one of the other, this is one of the demons we'll need to get later. We're just not high level enough. Question: Why? Okay. So here's the thing, right? Once you speedrun a game for the first time, I'll even get closer to the mic. Once you speedrun a game for the first time, every single time you play a video game casually, we're always like, I wonder what the speedrun is like. So I was playing for Lost Bible and I was enjoying myself. This is, it was a fun game, I very much liked it. I like the story, the parts that I paid attention to. I want to replay it again to actually pay attention to the story this time. Um, and I like the mechanics. And I thought it was very interesting that the recruitment was decision tree based that basically sparked my curiosity. So I wondered, what's the speedrun like? And there was a speedrun Revelations Demon Slayer. And I watched it. I watched parts of it. I liked it. I didn't like how bold the text font was, so I decided I'll check out to see if anybody has done a speedrun of the Game Boy version. And I also checked Nico. Uh, and no, nobody has. But there, there was someone, there was one runner that did a speedrun of of the same version as Revolution Demon Slayer, just the Japanese version. And I watched it, and I liked it a lot. I thought it was a very well-crafted speedrun. So I thought, maybe I'll try this out. And I made notes, and I liked it. And I tried out the game, this is actually one of the demons we need to get. Uh, he's type 2... Type 2, yes... No... Yes... Actually, safe to save because we're level 18 already. Uh, yeah, this isn't. This isn't. Oh, yeah. So I watched the speedrun and I liked it very much, and I thought this is a perfect opportunity for me to actually learn latex, you know? Latex, however you say it. Um, by making my own notes. This seems like a pretty simple speedrun because it's a Game Boy game, and this isn't exactly a super complex Shin Megami Tensei game. Um, yeah, you're gonna have to hear my answer now. Sorry, you asked the question, now you get, now you have to hear the answer. So it looked simple enough, it looked ball crop. And I got very interested, so it took me only, what, two or three days to finish the notes. I had to rework a couple of things because this version is different, pretty much, just from that, just because of that run. Really. And we're level 18 with this guy. We need to go back to the town now because we ran out of MP items. Uh, so we need to go buy some more MP items. I think I think four might be enough, and we'll heal up, and that, sh that should probably be enough. So yeah, it took me around two, three days to finish my notes. Then I did one trial speedrun to see if, every if everything clicked. Some boss fights are kind of dangerous, but if you safety save, you're pretty much cool. You might need to reset. That's pretty much just it. And you have 20, 20, 20,000 yen now. We need eight thousand more, but actually we need ten thousand more because we'll have to spend around. 1,800 on more healing items. Uh, actually, let me give them to protect. To protect. The CH from German? I don't know German. I don't know how to say that. Let's say way tech, I guess. Say oh gunt. Oh 
cratère. That's a very interesting sound. Yeah, you know what else? I think I'll stick to a deck. <laughs> so we're almost done. We're almost done with grinding. I actually thought this would take a while longer than it did. So maybe it was just one of those things where when you're trying out a speedrun, everything seems to take a lot longer than it actually does when you have a timer. Kind of like if being GIF, yeah. So as soon as we're level 19, we need to get one of those guys. Should get one of those here. Because in our next place, Tower of Magan, you know, it's next split. Um, we got a demon that's, that looks the same. He looks the same, but he's just different for some reason. We got one of these. I don't think I've ever used instant kill spells as much as in this room. And they're very useful in Shin Megami Tensei, you know? But I don't think I've ever used them as much as here. That's another thing where, like, this uh, Shin Megami Tensei game is one of the games that teaches you how to use buffs. To use buffs in general. But I think it's also one of those that teaches you to actually use instant kill spells. Because if there's an instant kill spell in other games, I tend to not use them because I always assume it's going to miss. But in this game, it's always worth to take the chances. Even if it misses. Like, it doesn't matter because they're just too useful. Okay, we're now level 19 We have Tramper. Trampa? I think that's what it's called. Trapport, pretty much. Which means that we can pretty much not worry about having to walk to places. We'll have to walk to the Shrine of Hypnos, which will teleport us to the next part of the game. That's about it. Also, hopefully I don't get lost because I don't have maps. This game doesn't really need maps like Megami Tensei does, because it's a top-down RPG, not a first-person dungeon crawler. But still, I'm not that familiar with the, the overworld, so hopefully I don't get lost. That's the MT2 name, Trampa. I mean, this game came out the same year as Shimigami Tensei, so it, it makes sense if some of the names didn't exactly align with Shimigami Tensei. It's no game, it's no game. Okay, just to make sure, I'm just going to check how much money I have. 25, okay. We're almost there both in XP and any money. I have one more Mudo, then I need to fill up. I haven't played MTT, so I wouldn't know. That's interesting. I have to, yeah, it's. I'm planning to, I just haven't had the time yet. Yeah, I think that's our money. That's. Uh, not this. Yeah. As much money as we need. Just need to get a hero to 
Level 20 now. Should be right around the corner. We have two more Moodles. We we'll still have one MP recovery item left. The better key MT is a bit on the expensive so it's, Yeah, it's definitely expensive. I've been looking at that one. Oh, great. Okay, we're good. We're good. Didn't take this long. I'll split on getting to the Shrine of Hypnos. Yeah, it's not very cheap, especially if you're adding um, shipping costs. No, I didn't watch Clive at all. I saw him streaming. I saw him streaming when I went to sleep and when I woke up, but I didn't really check. I knew he was doing chaos. Okay, this is the Shrine of Hypnos. This will teleport us to another part of the map. And there you go. That's all the grinding done. Yeah, same. He always streams when I should be in bed. So now we'll, this is our first detour compared to the Game Boy Power version. We head into this town, this tiny little town. Um. <laughs> okay. Tiny little town to head into this house and basically rob it. There's this kid that tells us whatever, but he has his treasure, a treasure chest with a rune, we give the rune to our partner. This is the first rune that we need to buy at the shop where we will buy our armor and weapons. But again, it costs 10 times more compared to the Game Boy Color version. So it costs 7,500 yen and that would amount to a lot more grinding that we just don't need. So in order to cut that time, we just head into that one town and rob them. So now we'll just go through here, we'll head into the weapon store. Hopefully I find the weapon store. It's this one. Okay, now we buy this item for our boy. And we buy this weapon to the partner. These are, I have the English name too. Um, let me see. Um, it's the Hacto Axe for hero and the Cross Sword for partner. And then we leave. Now we head into the Tower of Magan, where some sages are trapped in. Also, I just noticed that we didn't get the bird. That could be dangerous. So I might need to safety save. The fight might take a little bit. I still need an Atlas. Yeah, that's the one that looks like the bird, but it's different. When's lost Y was 2 and 3? Funny you say that. <laughs> Funny you say that. Okay, I actually need to get one of those guys. I might need to weave. I I'm not sure if he shows up in the tower. Can only find 3? I've never I've never found 3. I've, I've only just found out that it's a... That it's a, a Super Famicom game. I might be okay not getting the the bird, but I do need to get Atlas because Atlas still hits pretty hard. Really, that's interesting. I never see those those games being sold here at all. Okay, so we'll head outside just to get Atlas. You can only find one. Which version of one? I'm going to buy... Oh, there's others. Okay. Just type one. Type one means no, yes. No, yes. There you go. 
I'm... Oh, you can only find one. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant you could only find, find the last level one. Yeah, it should be okay now. Now there's this guy blocking our path, right in front of us. We'll take the time to equip our sword. Where's the sword? There is. And some more guys. We only have three, but should be okay. You already know I'm going to safe save, especially because I'm under I'm underprepared again for the fight. We'll just try our best and auto. That was pretty easy. I don't know why. <laughs> that was easier than I thought. So now we had inside. That guy was Minotaur, by the way. Minotaur? You know who I'm talking about. We talked to these sages, sages who were trapped here. And now we use. Where is it? Here it is. The Silver. And that's it. That's Tower of Magan. Head back into this town, right? Heal up. Just in case. And we head into the temple, where the sages would be talking about how there's a guy stealing our precious orbs, please give the orbs back. We don't really care, but they do give an important item that we need. So we're going to go and take it, pretty much. This is the soul ring. We now have the soul ring. We leave. We trap port into that one town that we went and bookmarked, remember it? It's called Harap Harappa? Harappa. It's this one. We talked to this one duck. This is a duck, by the way, in case you didn't know. We received the black key, which is an item that we need in order to proceed into the Zord Cave. The Zord Cave is that one place where we grinded. We're going to go back there. to go and save someone else. Actually, I remember who we need to save. We need to save uh, a guy, I think it's a sage, that worked with the, the girl's partner. Partner? No, the girl's father. The girl doesn't have a partner. The girl is a child. So we use the black key on this rock, because that's how rock works. I'll actually heal, I'll, I'll actually repeat these guys, because it's always free XP. Now we get another bone. Safety save just because we're already here and we don't want to die. And then we auto again. Fights aren't exactly threatening at all, but um, just in case, it's always better to just safety save. This is actually the one demon that I needed to get, so I might get him again. I, I might, if I encounter him again, I might just get him. Hey, okay, here's the next fight. He's just a Zorin, so... We are all and he's done.
He's in the zone. Get new Muro. And thankfully we've leveled up. Safety save. That one file is still the one file that I saw here on stream. That I need to go back. Because I, I haven't even defeated Jago in that one file. Ooh, it could be dangerous. Oh, partner died. That's a bit annoying. Um, I wonder if I can win. I cannot win. So this was our first death. Yay. I don't, I don't even think I'm I'm that... I guess I was a bit... A bit under prepared. Okay, this time I killed up. So, Arachne shouldn't die. I almost died, but that's... Okay. Yeah, there you go. Don't you love saving every anywhere like Game Boy games do? Isn't it great? I should actually kind of grind for that one demon because now I don't have hours. If he shows up, I won't stick long here. Oh, now I'm not getting any encounters. What's going around? I'll leave. I'll leave the other, like on the other side. I wonder if I can't get it, encounters anymore. Maybe I can. Well, that's not... I, I'll probably find him anyways. And if I don't, it's really not that important. Oh, uh, that's split. Okay, so now we go back to Ramu. Head through here to another call, town called Tilmin. Oh wait, I forgot to stop by Harappa. I was pretty stupid. I skipped. I <laughs> I skipped ahead on my notes. And forgot to stop by Harappa. And now, hopefully, I still have a silk wing. I do. See how they were their useful radio. I ran out of MP. And I would have to go into the nearest town in order to, to then get here. They're not useless. Because <laughs> now we get the girl. I almost forgot the girl. I can't believe this. I'll stop by the inn here. I still kind of know where he is. Why? Yeah, I do know what it is. Okay, the place where they put you right after you climb the stairs sometimes is really annoying. Because you always ex expect it to be somewhere else and you accidentally go back downstairs. Okay, now we've healed up. We're all healed up. We have Trampa again, which is the most important part. Because we need to go and we go back to Ramu to head into Tillman. And in Tillman, we'll get a sword for girl. Okay, we've reached the town. So first thing first, we'll stop by this one shop where I think they like the fact that they recognize the girl or something and then give her a sword. It'll be good if I could talk to them. And give the sword to the girl. 
We'll equip the sword to get all the core I forget to do so. And we'll equip this one item that she comes with. Now we leave. And we leave to the big mountain of the sages. In the mountain of the sages, there are a lot of sages. And these sages will play a very important role later into the run, not quite yet. First, they just kind of give us one emblem that allows us to ride a golfing. And they'll teach Recarm to girl, which is kind of useful, I guess. But unfortunately in this game you can only use Recarm outside of a battle. So if a demon dies in a battle, or anybody, for that matter, if anybody dies inside a battle, you can't do anything about it, which, is, which will be annoying. So we talked to this girl, who's very sad about the Zords. And we're going to head into the temple in this town, talk to another girl, who's also very sad about the Zords. Because it keeps stealing the precious orbs of the world, or something. Again, I skimmed through the story, so I can't give you a very accurate summary of how the story actually goes. After I play this, and actually read what's going on, I'll, I'll let you know. But for now, can't do so. So we've talked to the girl that said about the orb situation. We'll leave the temple. And we'll now head into a cave. So you might have noticed that I'm picking up some chests. Um, the reason why I'm picking up some of the chests, some of them is just because they're good, they're good, they're good items, they have like equipment and stuff. But others have fossil parts. There's two fossils that we're trying to get. There's the dragon fossils and the others. What's it called? The dragon bones and the Kirin bones. Uh, these are used to build two... I think this is one of the other Kirin bone. Yeah, this is Kirin bone number one. These are used to build two different demons which are very overpowered. And which are very useful and will be using throughout the speedrun. This is the first one. This one isn't actually built from bones, but he's also very overpowered and very useful. And we managed to defeat him. This girl thought we were a Zoran, you know, a bad guy. We aren't, by the way. Um, and she attacked us with her demon, which is Orphus. I'm going to just heal up. But because we didn't prove to actually be bad, she decided to land as Orphus. So now we have Orphus. He's very strong. I'm going to be summoning him right away. Reordering the party before I forget to do so. Because I will forget to do so. And now that we have Orphus. We can head into the first Zord castle, where we're going to fight the Zords, personally. Can we wait for the war explanation during the grinds? Yeah, <laughs> that's coming for sure. Maybe not in this version of the game, because this one's more painful, but if I get Revolution Demon Slayer... For sure. Also, thank you for the good luck, Electro. So now we're in the Zord castle. This guy is kind enough, uh, thank you for the instant encounter. Um, this guy is kind enough to lead this further into the castle. So we're just going to proceed and follow him. And he will show us to a big bad zord called uh, Morgan. That we'll need to fight. Spoilers. Also, I like that in my notes I have Don't Let Crow Die, which is a demon that I should have, but I don't even have him. So this will be interesting. So before we head into Morgan, which is a very it's a very normal name for a Zord. We're going to be looting two treasure chest rooms. Yeah. 
Can we get more bones? I missed the exit. Can we- Okay, we got the last piece, I'm pretty sure. The last piece of the dragon demon. And here we get the last piece of the Kirin demon. Okay, here's Morgan. Nice encounter right off, right before Morgan. I'm going to save to save. Because, you know, I think I'm pretty much ready and I'll just jump right into the fight. So first turn, I'm actually... This guy does have... Should I Ronka? I never know what they actually do in auto, I just auto this fight. But we do need to... Buff on our first turn. I don't have MP, I just gotta hit normally. Okay, now that we've buffed, I'll just auto and hopefully that will be good enough. That's fine. Doesn't really matter if they die. Here, honestly. Protagonist dying would be a lot worse. So now we'll just use Recarm. That worked, right? Recarm not work. Nice Recarm fail! What's with me failing spells nowadays? Um, let me see if I have any healing items. I do have one healing item. Oh, very well, you split on Morgan. I'm sorry, I can't let you enjoy the great OST. Because I I did the fights too quickly. I apologize in regards to that. So we're pretty much done with recruiting demons. Now we'll just get the overpowered ones. After we pass through this in... How, is, that's more of an... I don't even know how to describe it. It's pretty, it's pretty much... That's a monster nest. In case you want to know. We'll head through here. And we'll now... Get a lot of encounters. But... Head right into here, which is the secret cave. This is the cave of Cer Cer Cerberus. Cerberus. Our boy Cerberus. He will also join us. And that's another overpowered demon that we get. So now we're pretty much done with this part of the map. We'll just take the shrine and transfer it to another part of the room. Another part of the run, another part of the map. You know what I'm saying. Okay, so now we head northeast, according to my notes. Stop by Dalo. And now we get the last dragon bone. Apparently that one wasn't the last. I lost track. My bad. Here's where there's the actual. Last one. Here, Cerberus is a good guy. I'm sorry for for the PTSD. <laughs> it's very useful. Now we head west. No, not west. East. I know my direction. Oh yeah, I did say we're heading northeast. We're, we're heading northwest. Now we're heading east. Stop by this town and get the other room. If you weren't for this town, we'd need this is the wrong way. Uh, we'd need to grind 15,000 more yen. So I'm thankful for this one duck that got a room and who was kind enough to give it to us.
figure it out by using my strategy game my Hey, shut up. Don't call me out. So now with which Atlantis? We head through here. <laughs> Go western. It's hard. <laughs> Directions are hard, okay? In English, West, I know it in Portuguese, it, do it just doesn't sound quite the same in English, okay? It's just a language barrier. I agree, directions are a mistake. Alright, so we've talked to the shrine guy, and now we, had, we need to head to... What is it called? We need to head to like... The inner city of Atlantis. For that, first we need to defeat both of these guys, which are basically gatekeeping it. Uh, we need to recover health. I don't. Th I don't think I can recover any health. Uh, do I have any recovery item? I don't think I do. It's not death pressing. Yeah, I'll just have to somehow make it work. So, we have servers, we, we'll be fine. Safety save. Okay, we'll just... Try to move those these guys and use this attack called Holy. Holy did not work, both times. It actually takes a bit. In order for him to hit. Mudo also did not work and now he killed the guy that has Mudos, which is pretty annoying. Hopefully something different happens this time. Okay, I think hopefully we'll, we've landed the Muro. We're fine. Even leveled up. Look at that. Because this can happen again. I'll safety save. Again. Now we have two guys. We'll Ronka the second one. No, actually Ronka hits both. We just protecting everybody else. Okay, Arachne died, but that's fine. Because they're kind of useless. Those demons are useless now. We just need to win this fight. <laughs> that's all that matters now. Oh! The holy attack actually worked. And as you can see, it hits very hard. And we got both, that's perfect. You remember when I cared about my Maju? Yeah, I changed. Also, who actually looks at the directions in Shin Megami Tensei? Like, it's already hard enough to be paying attention to the moon cycle. I've never even noticed there was... Uh, a thing showing the direction. Like, I notice when I'm in those dark rooms and then I get lost. All of a sudden, it's very important. But any other time, I never pay attention to that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just messing with you. Okay, so now we've had into Secret Sage Place or something. Talk to this guy. Ask us a question, we'll say no. We said yes, actually. Hopefully that's not... He keeps asking the same thing. I keep saying accidentally yes. Okay, we said no. We'll give the item to... the girl. We'll head for here, we'll leave. We're back in Atlantis. We never left Atlantis. But we got an item, that's what's important. Okay, so now we trump to Tillman. I don't have MP, I have to go back and heal. 
Okay, so now we go back and heal. I should've checked that before I left at one. I might as well heal everybody else. I'm going to close the negotiation things. Because we don't need to negotiate anymore. Our money. The angel came around to tell us that we've been playing for a while. Okay, so now we've healed. And now we have MP. And now we'll trump it to me. This is the cool part. We're, fi we're finally at the cool part of the run. Okay, so remember when I talked about the Sage Mountain, the Mountain of Sages? We were finally here to actually talk to the Sages, and they'll build us, they'll build us two demons, both Kirin from the Kirin Bones, this is Kirin, and Dragon from the Dragon Bones, and just like uh, Orphrus and Cerberus, they're very strong. So now we've done our thing, we've, been, we've done everything we need to do in this mount of sages. We will we'll meet the sages later again, but not yet. Now we need to go to what? To the hollow? Oh, sages will be killer, yeah? That's the hollow. Yeah. So when we first came around this town, it was locked because the Zords were upset or something. But now we've upset other things for the Zords and they've left can head into this cage, release this kid, talk to this sword, which will, which will he'll give us an item called the Bard, and we'll need the Bard to enter the next Zord castle, and then this Zord castle is the actual headquarters where we'll fight the Zord demon called Zodia. So now we just need to head north in order to go to the Zord headquarters. Yeah, I'm get heading the right way. I do recognize this, so I'm pretty sure I'm headed the right way. Did the other two also restore all their demons? Um, no. <laughs> um, one of them gives us, like, the others that were at the top, one of them gives us, um, what does it give us? <laughs> one of them gives us an emblem, which is needed for another part of the run, a previous part of the run. I don't remember what it was. Um, and the other teaches Recarm, uh, Revive 1 or Recarm into Heroin. And the first one that's right at the beginning, uh, right at the entrance rather, uh, doesn't actually do anything. So now we're at the Zord headquarters. This is where some fights get actually very dangerous. So encounters here are very, very, very tough. But because we've leveled up speed so much, we can escape from every battle, no problem. We'll take the time to defeat these guys, these are actually kind of rare to get. Uh, to level up a tiny bit, because we are under leveled. And the more we level up now, the less we need to level up before the final boss fights. Because it's recommended from my experience to be at least level 28 with protagonists going into the final boss fight. Which I won't spoil, but it's right there on the split, so I guess you kinda know who it is. So now we just head north, we'll be meeting us right at the end. Quit spoiling the game, yeah, it sucks. You know, this game also scales XP based on level difference. Good question, I actually am not sure. I think it doesn't scale. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Or it might, honestly, I'm not sure. 
because I've um, I'm thinking about the first boss fight. In the first boss fight, even if you fight him, I, love, I, fight, I fight him at a level three. But even if you fight him at level four, you never go past level five. But that might just be because you don't have simply you don't have enough XP to reach level five. So I'm not sure. Okay, so now we'll release the, the demons that we don't care about. Uh, so this one. Alice and these are guys. So we'll summon Kirin. Actually, I kind of would have preferred to have Dragon. So sorry, Kirin. I'll summon Dragon instead. We'll have Orpheus, Cerberus, Dragon, and then the guys. And there's one item that we received that we need to give to the heroine. And I will safety save, and it's kind of an odd fight. This will be pretty much a manual fight, no auto, and I think I'm killed up. Just in case, I'll media. Yeah, I will as well. It's fine because we won't be using magic at all in this fight. Okay, we, I save. This is the Zodia fight. Zodia is the big bad guy. We'll be using the spell called Holy, which when it hits, it's pretty useful. Most of the time, it doesn't hit. I'm going to buff, actually. Buffing doesn't do, do as much as, as I like in this game. And then we'll use this item called the Boaz. I don't know very much what... I, I, I really know what the name in English is, but... Um, it always hits, which is why it's, which is why it's useful in the first place. So we'll just keep doing this. We'll holy attack with dragon. Um, we'll attack with this guy, we'll heal up whoever gets hit with protagonist because he has the armor. And as you might notice, Dragon has so much more HP than everybody else because he's one of those way too strong demons. Also, the, that one attack that hit was Holy, and Holy does a lot of damage. Everybody else just hits normally. Yep. Okay, the aroma. This guy can still need to recover some, some HP. I'll keep using the item. Fortunately, pretty much nothing hit in this turn. But the item always hits, which is why it's useful. Also, the reason why we're not using normal spells um, is because this guy is pretty much resistant to all magic spells except for holy. And so is the next one. You died in RuneScape? <laughs> See, this is what you get from grinding RuneScape. You should know better, Sim. Okay, um, we'll hit with we'll the Arama Dragon. We won't the Arama Dragon because we don't have enough MP, fuck that. Oh, and he died, perfect. Okay, so Zodia died. And there's a reason why this split doesn't end at Zodia, it ends at Mephist. Because we'll have to fight M Mephist? M Mephisto? Right away. So the sages laugh because. Uh, we thought that Zodi was the actual bad guy, but he wasn't. He was bad, but he wasn't the baddest. So now we have to fight Mephist. Because he's worse than Zodia, I guess. <laughs> this is a great explanation of how this game works. Um, and we'll just do the same thing. It's the same fight. He's also resistant to magic spells. So we just do the same thing. We try to land holy, we use the item. We buff on first turn, that's it. Um,
we actually can't heal cur ser servers? servers at all, so we we'll just have to let him die. Him dying is not that important, to be honest. And there he goes. It's just kind of annoying because he has holy, but he's fine. Second fine. There goes a part in F. Ah, uh, right before, right before the end, the end of the fire, so he doesn't get the XP. Unfortunate, but it's fine. So now we defeat Mephis. He's good in there. We have enough. We don't have enough MP for. Um, Trumpa. We do have one more self wing. What did I say? We head into Crotona. Uh, the closest city is Atlantis. So we head into Atlantis. We head into this one city called Crotona. To talk to a guy's wife. Who's. And this guy, he'll, he's building us an arc. And the arc is very useful because we can just stroll through the entire world. Pretty much. Also, I didn't split, so let me split now. Very accurate splits, I know. But the wife has the key in order for us to get on the Ark. So now we have the key. And now we're going to be talking to the guy who's actually building us the Ark. For that we head into this one town. Also, that was Nui. Pretty cool Nui design. Nice scraping the microphone. So that guy over there, right here, is Helon, and he will build us our Ark. So now as he's half building the Ark, we'll head into this one, to this one shop here, this is just a general store, and we'll get rid of all the items that we have, because we have no more, no more need for them. So th that's actually pretty useful, I didn't even notice that I had that one item still. So. of all of this. The only item that we need is the room, so gotta make sure not to get rid of the room. That would be, be very annoying. I need to go and buy one. So all the other items are event items. We're done with the events, so we don't need them. And now we go and sell... Uh, we don't sell anything because I got rid of the sword either. <laughs> two, actually. I got rid of the sword too. We just buy these items. Which are MP recovery items that will be very useful because we'll need to do some grinding before the final fight, and we will get like we'll run out of MP for sure. I might as well get some of these as well. Okay, so now after we're done doing our shopping, you can go and talk to Hillam and he's done with our art because he's very fast at building stuff. So this part of the run is pretty much called just preparations because we need to prepare for the final fight. We have our arc. We will head into this one, uh, let's call it an... Uh, it's not really a cave, but it's kind of like a cave. It's right here. This first one has a sage in it. We talk to him, we give the one run rune that we still have. And we leave. Head into this cave. This is another cool part of the run. This is another cave of sages, but these sages are better than the previous sages. So these sages will upgrade our demons. So this one will upgrade dragon, and we get better dragon.
see, in this one he was like very skinny, made of bones, but now he's like a real dragon. And this guy will give us better curing. This is pretty much the fusion animation, except you're fusing with yourself. Because we don't get to see it. Fusing demons is a thing in this game. But we just don't fuse demons in this game. And this one sage will teach some recarm to the girl, which is also useful. Just in case somebody dies. It's useful to have. So now we leave, we're done with this cave. There's a bunch of things we still had to do. I need to read them because I remember all of them. Um, okay, now we take the arc we had east. We're heading east. We head into a monster nest. This one. We need to talk to this tree. And this is like a tree of Michael, um, which will send us on a quest to learn a very good spell. So we'll talk. With, this is the first tree we've talked to. Now we need to go and talk to another tree. This other tree is here in uh, Rumble. So in order to get to the tree, we just basically cross the temple. This is the temple. Leave through the back ex the back exit. Nice bumping into the orb sand. Here's the tree. The tree recognizes that we talked to the previous tree and gives us a light dew, which is an item that Michael will recognize and then teaches the very useful spell. So now we head north west, not northeast, like my notes say. Um into this one thing. Here it is. This will transport us into a uh, holy space of the sages. This guy is actually Michael. He recognized that we went, we've went, we gone on, uh, on the Michael fetch quest. Go northwest! That's what, should, what I should have written. I always just wrote northeast. And now we talk to this lion thing, which he will fuse Orphrus. And Cerberus and turn it into Soul Soul Lion. Soul Lion? I need to see the Soul Loin. Soul Loin? I'll call him Solo Lion. Um which is basically the last of our very bulky, very overpowered demons. Now we have three overpowered demons and three characters which will become overpowered when we get the right equipment, not quite yet. And we go around because we need to go and grab some equipment here, which is made specifically for Hero. We're somehow out of space, we actually need to get rid of some items, because these are for Hero. So first of all, let's summon the demons. Second, we need to transfer some items. And I actually have to transfer from the guy to the girl, because we're very much out of space. And we need to transfer from partner to the protagonist. Now we get the right equipment. We can equip it. The whole purpose of having equipment. Now we're ready. Almost. We've done everything we need to, we can do in the overall. We're pretty much ready for the fight. So we'll just leave the holy sage space and head into what's it called? We'll see Ferium. In order to do that we just need to take that one. This one, this isn't an actual, this isn't a transfer place, a trap work place. But I'm going to safety save because there's a fight incoming. So we take this one transfer place. Well, that's a transfer thing. It, it, it transfer to space. That's what I mean. We're in space right now. 
but as we're traveling through space in the arc, uh, another arc bum bumps into us. And now we need to fight him. And we're actually going to fight Belial, uh, which is why I need to save. <laughs> but we're very overpowered, so we should be okay. Except for E, that poor guy, which is one health. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Whoops, we'll be fine. What's the worst thing that can happen? That is you! That is you, sorry radio. See, nothing happened. Everything was under control. And we'll just continue our space adventure. Now the last thing we need to do before we fight the final fights is head into this other secret cave. Where we get the equipment for partner and the equipment for Uranus. Also, before I forget, let me heal up. Because I will forget. Um, I actually need to use the items that I bought. Okay, now I have magic. Magic power is pretty useful. I'm use me media. Now we get the equipment. I think this is actually the equipment for partner, so I'm going to equip it. And then I'll have to transfer it back to Uranus. Or to girl, rather. I shouldn't be saying the unofficial names. Um Excuse me? Oh right, she's out of space. We actually need to transfer some things from the heroin okay now we should have enough space I bought too many items <laughs> you shouldn't buy that many this kind of went wild because I have mo I had money I didn't have to go a lot okay now we're as overpowered as we can be we're ready for the fights we have nothing to worry about He heals MP, but he heals more than a uh, normal Pana. So most of these encounters are very dangerous, but some of them are worth defeating. And usually it's... I'll recognize them, but it's one that come in pairs. It is a close fight, isn't it? Not these ones. These ones are worth defeating. As you can see, we pretty much level up right away because they give a lot more XP than everything, anything else in, in, in the whole game, pretty much. This is the last dungeon. That guy is kind of annoying because they attack. They, they have really long turns, but most of their attacks don't even hit. It's annoying to fight. But they do give good XP, so they're worth fighting. They kind of give more XP than the final fights. Definitely more than Lucifer. So I'm gonna have to kinda rely on the amount of XP that we currently have. Heal up. And just go for it. I actually should use an item. K9 
can use all my items like I'll have I'll have to recover the MP after the fight. So now we're fighting Baal. Not Baal. Baal. You know the one. The more XP I recover now, the less I do later, so it's fine. Well, safety save, because this fight can be a bit dangerous. And this one is an auto one, so we'll just wait. Wait and see. Hopefully he doesn't kill our people, you know, the actual characters. Usually it's one of these attacks, I kill all of them. So hopefully we'll survive. Yeah, we're dead, aren't we? Oh! Oh, great! Okay, we didn't die. I think Kirin has Recarm. He does have Recarm. Yeah. Because if we weren't for that, we, we have to reset. Okay, so now we just need to do the last heal up before everything. Um, who has MP? Nobody has MP. You need to use the items. We just media, recover as much HP on everybody as possible. Dragon for sure. Midi is very expensive, yes. Okay, now I just need to recover the MP for the protag because he's actually very useful in this fight. Which is very surprising. Usually the protagonist is as useless as, as it gets. But in this game, he's actually useful. So now, this is Lucifer. This is the final fight. And enjoy the music as I cast as many spells as possible. He does look like a David, doesn't he? Of MP. Also out of MP. Unfortunately, my poor monster died. It's fine, really. This fight's pretty much safe now. 
It's actually taking longer than I expected. There you go. And because it's a very good game, they give you z zero XP for the last boss fight. Because they don't want you to be spending... Because it do this doesn't happen in Revolution Demon's Fire. In Revolution Demon's Fire, you, you have to, to go for like way too many level ups. But in this game, they just give you ah, zero XP. There you go. Oh yeah, nice split, wasn't it? <laughs> Nobody will know. <laughs> but you won't say anything because you're a good guy and I trust you and you're my friend. You will not remind me because uh, you're a good guy and I trust you and you're my friend. Right, radio. First one, so we already ruined. Yeah. <laughs> so. GG's.